Hello YouTube, Chrono16. Today's date is Saturday, December 17th, 2011. I know I'm on the late show with the Lovejoy comet, which went around the sun, and scientists said that it was going to crash into the sun and disintegrate. And as probably all of you know, it did not do that. I wanted to take a look at it real quick on this program I have. As you can see it there at the bottom of the screen. Let's try to zoom in just a little bit there. We'll see it go around the sun as many of you have seen this and probably some of you haven't and then it comes back out on the other side and begins to grow a tail again and head away from the sun and down below our plane here in, in the solar system there it is right there suckers getting bright too we would be able to see it from earth let's play this back again for those of you who probably didn't catch it there's love joy going around the sun uh, I heard somebody say that it probably survived. Maybe he was joking. I don't know. Because it grew, would look like a cross. That is, that's not a cross, guys. It's the camera on the C3, the C3 camera on Soho, which uh, when an object gets too bright, this is what happens with it. It looks like it's got a cross there. It's not an actual cross, and it's not emanating that light. It's just the camera not being able to process the light correctly. And as you can see, it's going around the sun, comes back out on the other side and reforms its tail and heads away from the sun. Now, some people have sent me um, emails asking me, will we be able to see it here on Earth? No. Here's the sky, what it looks like right now, where I'm at, pretty much right now. Well, it's actually a, an hour ahead. But um, this is Lovejoy here. This is a program called Stellarium, by the way. Free program. You can download it. I'll have the links below this video. As you can see, there is Lovejoy. And as time goes on here, uh, you will see that when it sets in the evening, Lovejoy, you will not be able to see it. Now, I think I went a little too fast there. Nevertheless, you won't be able to see it. Now, um, you go actually I did go too fast there bear with me guys uh, as time goes on in the evening time as you can see love joy will set before the Sun you will not be able to see love joy here in North America at all see no love joy uh, it, it will set now in the, in the morning times let's go ahead and look at the morning this is at uh, 4.58 in the afternoon here, where I'm at in um, western Arkansas. As you go to the morning time, as we skip ahead here, you still won't be able to see Lovejoy. For the simple fact, it's too close to the sun. The sun and is heading down in this direction. So this is morning time here in western Arkansas. There's Lovejoy. The sun is coming up here. And you still won't be able to see Lovejoy because one is, well, it's moving farther away from the sun, but it's moving at a downward angle. So as you go, like here's December 20th here, as you go to the 21st, you can see Lovejoy is getting closer and closer and closer to the horizon. And the sun is getting higher and higher and higher. You just will not be able to see Lovejoy from the United States. Now let's even go back here. Let's go back to the evening time and go forward in time and see what we can see there. It's going to be the same thing guys. It's going to be the same thing. As time goes on, Lovejoy just gets lower and lower into the horizon. You won't be able to see it. So we will not be able to see Lovejoy from the Northern Hemisphere. Anyway, just thought I'd make that short video to let you guys see how it went around the sun. And if we will be able to see Lovejoy from North America, we will not be able to see it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.